today I'm going to do an, a lesson in advanced brush, brushing, brush tools, brush settings, all that kind of fun brush stuff. And it's important to note that, you know, if I download a brush or if I create a brush, I can use it with the clone stamp, with the eraser. There's uh, other tools here that I can use the brushes with. So I'm going to take my brush. So I'm going to focus on this here in my options bar here. You've got the size of the brush, the hardness of the brush. A lot of these settings and things are also going to be popping up um, over at the side here with my brushes panel and my brushes settings. So I've got my brush here. You've got modes here you can play with. This will also bring up the brushes settings box if you need that. Opacity of the brush, flow of the brush, and so on. So I'm going to start. So I'm going to start with a standard brush here. I'm using the brackets next to letter P to adjust the size of my brush. I prefer to do that over changing the size here, just so I can see then what size I'm, I'm working with. So this is my brush. It's a hard brush. I can come into here and I'll notice this is the same, right? As it, as it is over here. I got similar settings. Or this is the brush soft. So just different styles of brushes here. Other things that you can play around with your default settings in the new version of Photoshop is showing you the brush stroke. Now, if we're going to be experimenting with different brush tips and what those might look like, I'm going to actually switch to the tip because I prefer to see it that way. I'm not doing digital painting per se. I want to see what that little tip looks like. And this guy right here will expand. These are brushes that I've downloaded, the Aurora, the Boca, and the Chaos. They come from brushking.eu. Um, there's some great brushes on those sites. Um, great different textural brushes and things of that nature. So let me go back to the brush settings. Um, as I work here, I'm going to be building layers just so I can experiment at the end then with my layer modes and my layer styles. So let me go back to my brush tool. Let me get my standard brush tool here. Um, I want to go back and get that, that circular brush to start with. Now the number here denotes the resolution of the brush, so it's important that if you are choosing simple, plain brushes to work with, that the resolution is high. And I believe with these general brushes, resolution is not so much of a matter because it will kind of adjust with however you're, you're using it it there. All right, so I want to create a brush. I'm going to jump over. I've gotten two gears. These both came off Pixabay and they were free images. They're both, P this one's a PNG, this one is a JPEG. So I can make my own brush. Let's say I wanted to make a brush from this image, right? So I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to choose define brush preset. And that is going to make me a brush that looks like the gears. What's black would be the content of the brush. What was white or transparent would be like nothing, right? So notice how the white part is showing up as transparent. So I just created a brush that looks like those gears. And if I scroll down in my brushes panel now, it kind of popped it here in the middle, but um, I believe if I go here, it there it is. It's popping up at the bottom as a brush that I created. Now here's a different brush. Now this is more photographic. If I do edit and define brush preset, I'm going to get a photographic looking brush. Now I'm going to create it here so you can see it pop in over there. So I'm going to play with them and experiment with the difference between them in a moment. Um, the resolution of these images matter as well. Notice how it's giving me a resolution and number. So make sure you're choosing large images to create your brushes from. Now if I went to image adjustments and threshold here, I could turn this into a simple dark and light image, right? which would probably be better for my brush for in the, in the brush realm, right? So let me hit okay. So I've got that. Um, now I've got it down to just black and white. I could probably use the cutout filter on it to simplify the edges even more, but for the time being, I'm going to go edit to find brush preset. So I just made a brush now that looks like that. So let me go back into my new image here. Let me just blank out that background. Um, so let's see what these different brushes look like. So here's the photograph of uh, this. I'm sorry. That's the thresholded gears, right? Simple black and white. Here's the photographic gears. I'm making them bigger so you can see the different sizes and changes there. So there it is, photographic. So you can see changes in value. And then here is my full threshold PNG. All right, nice and clean. I love those. Okay, so the difference between those. So you saw those. Let me let me blank that out again. Okay, so let's say I want to create an entire composition with just these gears. So let's 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 you know we're, let's throw down one gear here so you can see what it does. Now I'm going to go over to the brush settings um, and I want to experiment with with how I can adjust or change this brush. So the spacing down here, this is where the stroke comes from. So if I were to take this brush, I'm going to make I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller, and I would actually use it as a brush stroke. You'll see that it looks similar to the stroke that's happening down here. Now if I adjust the spacing here then when I go to play with it and put it down it's going to give me space between there and if I space it out a lot that's like putting a single instance 
All right, so let me go back. Let's go like somewhere in the middle here. Let's just experiment with this brush. Um, this allows me to flip the brush. Now you can see it changing. Flip it Y, X. I can rotate the brush in this direction. I can even squash the brush and kind of adjust it in that way as well. I could come up into here. So right now we're looking at the brush tip. Here are the shape dynamics of the brush. Now watch how it changes down here. If I just click here, it is applying those things. It does not change the settings on the side here. So let's play with size jitter. Size jitter is going to give me a variation in size, um, a variation in diameter, an angle. It's going to angle them in different directions. I can play with the roundness of them. So not all of them will be completely round. Um, I'm going to go to scattering, right? So now I'm going to scatter them so they're not all going to fall on the line. I can adjust the count of it. I can adjust the jitter. So, how, you know, count how many it's, it's actually throwing out there. Texture is a great one. I can put a texture here. I can download a texture. Let's put this kind of texture on there. Let's see what that does. Um, this is the scale of the texture. If I could see it there, the brightness, the contrast. Let's see if I can get that texture to kind of pop out there a little bit. Do a depth jitter. Okay, you could see the texture starting to pop up on some of, there we go. There we go. Now that texture is starting to pop up. So let's see what that looks like, right? So I've got a lot of different things I've been playing with. So there it is, playing with texture, playing with those those different effects. And I should have blanked out my screen. Actually, let me do that. Let me blank it out. Command delete. This is a keyboard shortcut. Fills a selection or a layer with the background color. Command delete. Blank it out. All right, so let's do that. Let's kind of just, let's create our own like kind of background texture, a whole piece using just brushes. If I go to dual brush here, what this does is it allows me to play with two brushes at once. So let's say I wanted this kind of like cool line. See how it really did a cool thing here where it kind of minimized the lines. Let me choose a different color. I want to add some of that into here as well. So now it's kind of it's kind of playing with a line thing and the the brush that's there. That's kind of neat. Color dynamics. This one's really awesome. Um, I can actually take that dual brush off. Color dynamics is very cool. It allows me to play around the two colors. And so let me choose two colors here. Let's say I got a red. And let's see. I actually, let's go with, let's kind of make this look cool. So let's go green. And let's go like a really deep blue purple here. There we go. Okay, let's play with those two colors. Okay, so color dynamics. Now what it's going to do, let me create a new layer. Where it happened to my, there's my layer. They got attached in there. Let's create a new layer here. Okay. Um, go back to my brush settings. And um, now it should, let me see, foreground, background jitter, hue jitter is going to adjust the colors. Saturation is how much color. Let's see what this does. So one of these in here will allow me to, there we go. It's giving me some variations in the colors that it's putting out there. There's a way in here too where it, there it goes. It's giving me different colors, different, different, there we go. There's blue. Every time I go to click, it's giving me a different color in that realm. So that is very cool. You can get, you, you can create an entire background just from the brushes that are there. Um, the transfer here, you can play around with the opacity of the brush, right? You can, um, how much it's playing with the opacity. The brush pose is, I'll make sure you click on it, right? Is um, it would be adjusting like the size of the brush. I could play with noise. I can make it look wet, like watercolor. That's a very cool option there. Um, right now, this is, let me do command delete. I don't want to do command delete. Yeah, that's sure. Let's blank out this background. And let me, yeah, let's just play with like a single brush. I'm not going to click stroke. I'm just going to do a few single clicks here so you can see how it's adjusting or changing, right, based on all those different settings that I created. Now let me create one final layer up here, right? And I'm going to go back to that brush. I want to get rid of all this stuff. If you leave the brush like that, it will leave the brush like that, right? So I'm, I'm back to here. I want to just, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's keep it all just the way it was. I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay. Um, there's the brush. Here's the brush tip shape. If I wanted to rotate it, let's say I wanted one very well-placed, emphasized gear that would kind of fall right here in the corner. Right now it should be white. If I click, there we go. So now I've got a series of brushes. I created an entire piece here made only of brushes, right? Made only of brushes. And now if I go through here, I can start to adjust and play with, this is a good reason to have them on different layers, is I can go and play with different color modes on these different layers. Modes blend the layers together in different ways. So notice how I'm rolling my cursor over it, and it's blending these layers in in different ways, bringing out ooh, cool colors, cool effects. Well, not effects. I didn't get to effects yet. Um, another, the keyboard shortcut to scroll through the layer modes, if you don't like to, to use the mouse like that, is shift plus. If you have, if you're on the move tool, shift plus and shift minus will allow you to scroll through those different modes. 
Ooh, I really like some of the texture that's popping out here. And I actually got one more here. I, I actually don't want this one at all. I'm going to throw that was my play at the beginning. So I'm going to leave that one down there in the back. Now, something else you can add, because these brushes are in separate layers, are layer styles. So I can double click here, or I can go down and add effects. I'm just going to choose blending options here. Um, so I can add you know, some, some styles on here. So let's see. Here's a bevel and emboss. Remember here, just like with the in individual panels, unless you click on the word, Right? I could just click through here and it's going to add those things, but it doesn't give me the opportunity to modify them. Right, So now here I am like modifying those different settings. I don't like the stroke. Um, how about a little bit of a drop shadow? Yes, let's do a drop shadow. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Let me kind of pull that out a little bit. Let me soften it. I can even change the color of this slightly so it's not so black. I want it to be more of a dark blue to reflect what I've got going on in the background. And there you go. There's an entire piece created just of brushes and really experimenting with those different brush options that you've got. So have fun with your brushes. Enjoy.